Hi guys, um, today I'm going to review a, a power supply kit I got off banggood.com. Um, it's based on an LM317 uh, power regulator and it's an all-in-one kit. Um, so I put it together, um, obviously I got it in pieces first, so I actually assembled everything. Um, soldered everything onto the board it was really straightforward um, it comes with the description as well um, which is quite useful because um, it tells you gives you the schematics um, um, the English translation isn't that great but it's it's fairly easy to decipher there's some pictures um, shows you how to mount everything to the board and which direction to put the screws on um, and any other modifications that you need to make um, um, the only thing I thought wasn't that clear was um, was point number eight where they didn't quite clarify the fact that it has a, an adjustable pulse uh, modulator that lets you change the frequency of, of um, your voltage, voltage pulses. Um, so there's, there's an actual uh, hookup for that as opposed to not just the tr traditional plus minus, there's actually a, um, an input um, or actually a negative voltage uh, ground and positive which are controlled by by the pulses on the on the chip so let me start it up for you and just demonstrate okay all right there it is okay so okay it's currently set on five volts um, the knob obviously can turn back and forward to control the voltage um, and you'll see also the LEDs get dimmer and brighter as you adjust the voltage. Um, one thing you'll see is the LED, the yellow LED in the middle, um, pulses on and off. Which is, you can actually adjust the frequency of pulses um, by an adjustable um, resistor over there right next to the chip um, and there's actually a hole for that in this in this case where you can use a screwdriver and just adjust that so let me just demonstrate um, you can see the pulses of the yellow are pretty constant so I'm going to turn it up now you can see it's pulsing quicker and you can adjust it all back as well and make it really slow um, but this pulse it requires a certain voltage to actually work properly um, and I find it works better on the higher voltages otherwise the pulse uh, generator doesn't doesn't switch on at all nothing nothing happens um, seems to only really work have a certain no, like one between one pulse per second up until maybe five or six pulses per second at the maximum so it doesn't give you a huge range to play with but anyway it's fun um, let me just hook this up to to my motor over here um, 12, 12 volts um, PC cooling fan. Um, just gonna use these alligator clips. Hook it up to the Molex connector, and there it goes. And uh, you can see the only thing is it's got a pretty high voltage drop, so you know it doesn't supply a lot of power. Um, you know. You can see it's it's jumping between six six 
6.8, 6.7 volts, where it should be at 12 volts. But that's just because there's a there's a high voltage drop with the the fan running. And the fan's not even running that that hard, so it doesn't give you a lot of power. But it's a fun little project that you can use for for low power projects. Um, just just for playing around a bit. It's it's not an expensive piece, and it's quite fun to put together and learn, you know electronics so yeah i think the video is getting a bit long enjoy guys cheers